so hello dear students welcome back to the video classes of first pc biology so in previous class we have discussed regarding uh, the types of uh, body plants so that is blind sac cell aggregation as well as the tube within tube type of body plan in today's class we are going to discuss reading uh, remaining aspects which can be used as basis of classification of the animals that is the next one is coelom or the nature of coelom what do you mean by coelom if any space present in the body that is simply called as an body cavity if that body cavity is lined by mesoderm and filled with coelomic fluid then it is called as a true coelom so here coelom is a just body cavity sorry space present in the body is just an body cavity and coelom means a true body cavity so any space present in body any space which is present in body is just an body cavity is just an body cavity but coelom means if body cavity present in living organism which is lined by aligned by mesoderm mesoderm then it is called as then it is called coelom then it is called as coelom so that is what the difference between just an body cavity and then the coelom so where the coelom is present means the coelom is present as an body cavity between the outer body wall and inner gut wall and which is lined by the mesoderm such a body cavity is called as the coelom so such coelom which is lined by the epithelium and that secretes okay fluid into that uh, coelom or the body cavity that is called a coelomic fluid so here the coelom coelom is lined by lined by okay epithelium which is called as a coelomic epithelium and which secretes this epithelium which secretes coelomic fluid that secretes a fluid called as coelomic fluid into body cavity or the coelom into body cavity or coelom that is what the function of coelomic epithelium epithelial lining the coelom is called coelomic epithelium fluid secreted by them by it is called as coelomic fluid then what are the types of coeloms so how many types of coeloms are there and what are those types of coeloms so coeloms are usually of three types so how many type of coeloms are there means there are three type of coeloms are there the first one is u coelom or the true coelom second one is pseudo coelom here pseudo means false and third one is a coelom means absence of coelom what do you mean by u coelom or the true coelom what do you mean by pseudo coelom or the false coelom and then the absence of body cavity cavity which is also called as a coelom let us see or let us understand one by one with diagrammatic representation okay before that make note of this point so what do you mean by u coelom means here that is body cavity which is lined by body cavity which is lined by mesoderm when the body cavity is lined by mesoderm then it is called as u coelom only okay this u coelom is further categorized into two types based on its development okay what are those then types of u coeloms are types of u coeloms so there are two types of u coeloms are there the one is nothing but cyzo coelom 
साइजो सेलोम एंड द सेकेंड वन इज नथिंग बट एंटरो सेलोम एंटरो सेलोम वोट यू मीन बाय साइजो सिलोम एंड वोट यू मीन बाय द एंटरो सिलोम हियर द साइज ऑफ सिलोम इज नथिंग बट वेन द ट्रू बॉडी कैविटी ऑफ द सिलोम डेवलप्स बाय स्प्लिटिंग द मीसोड आर्म देन इट इज कॉल्ड एज साइज ऑफ सिलोम दैट इज इट इज एंड सिलोम मीन्स यू सिलोम ओनली सिलोम डेवलप्ड बाय डेवलप्ड बाय स्प्लिटिंग developed by splitting mesoderm then it is called as sizocelom sizocelom say for example this is what the gut wall okay this is the endoderm this is endoderm so here it is representing endoderm next layer to be present after the endoderm is the mesoderm next layer to be present after the mesoderm is nothing but the ectoderm say for example this outer one is representing ectoderm and here inner one is representing endoderm right in between that which layer should be present here that is mesoderm if this mesoderm is not throughout but it is divided and split into two layers means mesoderm itself divided into split layer two layers so in between them what space is present right here this space is called as body cavity as this body cavity is formed by splitting the mesoderm then it is called as a sizocelom so here what happens this is also mesoderm this is also mesoderm only so both of these are mesoderm only so by splitting the mesoderm as a siloam or the body cavity is formed such type of siloam is called as sizocelom so here the outer layer is representing ectoderm ectoderm and the innermost is endoderm endoderm but here the siloam is developed by splitting the mesoderm so only it is called as sizocelom this type of siloam it can be seen in which organisms so example of the organisms in which sizo siloam is developed it is nothing but here the annelids and then mollusk annelids and then the mollusks or mollusk are the examples of the organisms in which sizo siloam is formed next type of true siloam is entero siloam here the siloam developed or the body cavity developed by as a hollow out growths in the form of pouches from the enteron nothing but the gut so only this siloam is called as entero siloam so what happens here entero siloam is the one entero siloam is the one which develops or in which in which body cavity body cavity or the siloam is developed is developed as hollow out growths hollow out growths from gut wall from the gut wall or this gut wall is also called as enteron so only this siloam is called as entero siloam say for example this is what the the endoderm which is lining the gut that is the lumen of the alimentary canal so this is called as a gut wall from this gut wall the hollow pouches will develop hollow pouches will develop that is representing the mesoderm that is representing a mesoderm so this hollow pouches which represent the mesoderm as they are developed by what is that one the enteron only so only this type of body cavity is called as this type of body cavity is called as nothing but entero siloam here the enteron nothing but here what is the enteron present here body cavity which is formed by the enteron that is the endoderm endoderm which is lining the gut wall that give rise to the formation of hollow pouches 
हालो पाउचर्स दीज हालो पाउचर्स देन दट इज लाइनिंग द बॉडी कैविटी दट इज लाइनिंग द बॉडी कैविटी सो ओनली दिस लेयर इज कॉल्ड एज सॉरी सॉरी दिस टाइप ऑफ सिलोम इज कॉल्ड एज एंटरो सिलोम वट द नेक्स्ट लेयर आफ्टर दट आफ्टर दट वन इज नथिंग बट द आउटर मोस्ट and that outer most layer is nothing but here outer most layer is the ectoderm so here also the ectoderm endoderm and mesoderm is present but here what happens okay here the mesoderm is developed as the what is that growth hollow pouches which are grown from which which layer means nothing but the the enteron so these as these hollow pouches are developed by the enteron so only this type is called as a entero silo this is ectoderm ectoderm okay this is what the body cavity body cavity of the silo and the inner one is endoderm inner one is endoderm and here it is lined by the mesoderm which is given as a hollow pouches from the enteron okay so it is called as a true silom only but it is developed as a hollow out pouches from the inner gut wall and so it is called as entero silom example of organisms in which such silom is present here the examples are nothing but echinoderms echinoderms and then chordates these are the examples of organisms in which entero silom is present note the cyzocilom and then the enterocilom will be asked only for the neat examination just remember how their development takes place and in which organisms such type of silom is present no need to refer this one for the pu examination okay just refer what is the type of what do you mean by eucilom sorry what do you mean by silom and what is the eucilom and what do you mean by the pseudocilom and acilom that is enough for pu examination is that clear make a note of this one see next type of silom is pseudocilom what happens in pseudocilom here so in this pseudocilom what happens in which body cavity is not lined by mesoderm body cavity is not lined by mesoderm body cavity is not lined by mesoderm then what happens here instead of that instead of the mesoderm instead of that means instead of lining mesoderm is present as mesoderm is present mesoderm is present or scattered scattered as pouches as pouches in body cavity so here mesoderm is present but it is not lining the body cavity instead of that one it is scattered as pouches in that body cavity such silom is called as a pseudo silom and example of organisms in which such pseudo silom will be present means this type of silom is present in ascalmins ascalmins type of organisms in which pseudo silom is present is ascalmins see here the inner one is what this inner layer is called as this is endoderm endoderm next the outer one is called as outer one is ectoderm so here the outer one is present what it is called as ectoderm so endoderm is also present and ectoderm is also present in between that mesoderm should be lining the body cavity this is what the body cavity so here mesoderm should line that body cavity but instead of that one here the mesoderm is present as pouches so here and there it is present as pouches so this is what the pouch of mesoderm which is scattered in that body cavity so this is what the pouch of the mesoderm which is scattered in this body cavity so if mesoderm is scattered in this form of pouches so these are the the pouches of mesoderm mesoderm which is scattered in this space what this space is called as body cavity 
So outer layer is representing ectoderm. But body cavity means here mesoderm must line that body cavity. But instead of that one, mesoderm is present, but it is scattered in that body cavity. So only it is called as false true cavity or false true body cavity or pseudocelone. This is present in case of ascalmins. And the last type of body cavity or the one more type of body cavity is nothing but acelom. Acelom. So what this acelom means, that is, that is, a condition condition in organisms a condition in organisms where where all three germinal layers are present all three germinal layers that is ectoderm endoderm and then the mesoderm are present these are present without forming body cavity without forming body cavity without forming body cavity means body cavity is absent when the body cavity is absent such a condition is called as acelom and such organisms are called as acelomates example of acelomate organisms are say for example platyhelminths platyhelminths here all three germinal layers are present without forming the body cavity means diagrammatic representation of that one means say for example this is what the inner layer that is endoderm this is representing the endoderm means next to that one is nothing but the next to that is representing mesoderm so here the mesoderm is also present completely without giving rise to the formation of any space without giving rise to the formation of any space next to that one is the last layer that is ectoderm is also present ectoderm is also present so here you can see the presence of all three germinal layers without giving rise to the formation of any body cavity so ectoderm is also present next mesoderm is also present Next, endoderm is also present, but there is no space present between these germinal layers. Such condition is called as acelom, and such organisms are said to be acelomates. What is the very good example for the acelomate is that is platyhelminths. Make a note of these points now. See, among the basis of classification, we are left with only two terms. What are those? Body segmentation and second one, next, last one is the presence or absence of the notochord. Let's discuss regarding segmentation. What do you mean by segmentation? Segmentation is nothing but a division of body into the fragments or the compartments. That is called as segmentation. So here, the segmentation refers to segmentation refers to division of body division of body into segments into segments or the compartments say so what type of segmentation just the body segmentation but in some organisms the body is divided both externally and internally into the segments those segments are called as metamers in some animals in some animals or some organisms body is body is divided into segments divided into segments both internally and or both externally and internally both externally and internally internally into divisions or 
into segments so here each segment each segment in such a way that that segmentation is taken place in such a way that the each r the series of segments segments form formed with repetition of with repetition of fundamentally similar organs fundamentally similar organs so what is the meaning of that one so here for example this is what the body of an organism means both externally and internally it is divided into segments so that what happens in each segment see here externally also it is divided and internally also it is divided into segments each segment will have the same organs those organs fundamentally similar organs will be repeated among each segment then such segments are called as metamers why because there will be serial repetition of the fundamental organs in each segment formed such a segmentation is called such a segmentation is called as that is only called as metamerism that is called as metamerism or the metameric segmentation this is called as a metameric segmentation and such process is called such process is called metamerism metamerism and segments formed are called as segments formed those segments formed are called as metamers these are called as metamers so very good example of the organisms which show metameric segmentation here the example of organism showing metameric segmentation are annelids in that particularly we can mention regarding earthworm so in earthworm there will be a both internal and external division of the body into segments each segment will have repetition of the fundamentally similar organs such segmentation is said to be metameric segmentation or that process is called as metamerism is it clear guys this is regarding the metameric segmentation so the next the last one is our absence of a structure called as notochord what do you mean by notochord see notochord is an notochord it is an a rod shaped it is a rod shaped flexible structure a rod shaped flexible structure present present on dorsal side of body dorsal side of body and derived from and derived from mesoderm mesoderm such a structure is called as notochord what do you mean notochord notochord is a rod shaped and flexible structure where it is present it is present on the dorsal side of the body what do you mean dorsal side back side of the body when you consider the human beings or if you consider the other organs means upper side of the body so rod shaped flexible structure is present on dorsal side of the body and such structure is derived from mesoderm of the germinal layers there are three germinal layers are there from which germinal layer the structure is derived means mesoderm so notochord is mesodermally derived and what is the function of this notochord means notochord this notochord gives axial support that gives axial support to body this is the main function of the what is that one notochord and 
based on the presence or absence of this note accord based on its presence or absence presence or absence the animals are categorized as the animals are categorized are classified as two types what are those that is chordates and non chordates what do you mean by chordates and what do you mean by non chordates chordates are those organisms in which the notochord is present It means these are the animals animals with notochord with notochord in their body but here non chordates means these are animals without notochord animals without notochord so here you may be having doubt that when this notochord develops in the organisms see because in some of the organisms later stages of the life notochord get replaced with the vertebral column and such organisms are called as vertebrates for example human beings now we are not having notochord right why because the notochord which is developed during the embryonic stage later it got replaced with vertebral column right such organisms are called as vertebrates see notochord notochord will be present will be present at least in embryonic stage at least in embryonic stage so why we are mentioning at least in the embryonic stage means yes as in some animals in some animals notochord get replaced with this notochord get replaced replaced with are replaced by vertebral column vertebral column such organisms are called as vertebrates such organisms organisms so these are called these are called as vertebrates so only notochord will not be present throughout life in all the chordates at least it will be present in embryonic stage in some in the later stage of life it get replaced with the vertebral column if it get replaced with the vertebral column those organisms are then called as vertebrates is it clear it is clear this is regarding the notochord what about hemichordates see notochord like structure which is present in the hemichordate is called as notochord like structure which is present in hemichordates present in hemichordates hemichordates is nothing but it is called as stomochord it is called as stomochord remember this is very important one for the cd or the neat examination name the notochord like structure present in the hemichordates means that is nothing but the stomochord so this is regarding the all seven basis of classification of animals based on this we can classify animals into 11 phyla so how that classification is carried out let's see that in the next class hope you have enjoyed today's class thank you guys